Hello, my name is Jim German, and welcome to today's episode of Dulimanjaro. Today we're going to be taking a look at the strength of joints. Specifically, I'm getting ready to do a full review of the Festo Domino, and I wanted to see just how strong the joints were that it makes. For those of you, of you that aren't familiar with it, the Festo Domino cuts uh, pockets to make floating tenons. So it cuts a little pocket into the, any piece of wood, a couple different sizes it'll do, and then you put these floating tenons in there, you put one in one side, one in the other side, throw some glue on it, jam it together, it makes a nice, straight, a nice tight, strong joint. So I wanted to compare those and see how strong they were compared to other types of joints. So today I'm going to compare them to everybody's favorite pocket screws, as well as just a plain butt joint where you just glue two pieces of wood together, see how strong that is. That's not very strong, but we'll see how strong it is. Um, I'm going to do two different types of dominoes, one where I put glue on all four surfaces really nicely, and one where I just kind of put a little bit of glue in there just to see if that makes any difference. So as I said, this is the 5 by 30 millimeter domino, and um, that's about right for this size wood. It's a three-quarter inch piece of cherry. All these pieces of wood are scrap cherry, um, so that's the hardwood that I'm using. For the pocket screws, I'm using inch and three-quarter inch fine thread pocket screws, and I'm going to use two of them here. So this is kind of to simulate a face frame uh, around a cabinet. <laughs> The way I usually do the dominoes, if I'm just using them mostly for alignment, I'll just put a little glue on the surface and then kind of just squirt a little across here so that a little drips down and call that good. So we'll see how that is compared to one where I put glue all the way around it. This one's just going to have plain glue on both sides. This one I'm going to have the glue on all the pieces of the domino as well as on both sides. So this is kind of the recommended way if you want a nice strong joint. Alright, there we go. It's the next day, you can tell from my nice new shirt here. And all the glue is dried on all of our specimens here. And I've set up this rig to break them. So what we've got here is just a kind of strong back thing here with a threaded rod in it. On there I've got this force gauge here that should read up to 600 pounds. And then I've got the, the coupon or whatever you want to call it clamped down here with a hole in the top so I can pull it. So if you're curious this hole is a foot from the joint so if you want to know about how much moment is getting put on this joint you can take the load here and that's equal to about the number of foot pounds that are getting put on there. Got a clamp down in the back held up at the front this is held in with some pins here, and then it's also clamped down. So I'm going to tighten this bolt up, which will pull it this way. We should be able to break them. So this first one that I'm going to do here is just a butt joint. It's just glued together, two pieces. It's kind of the baseline to see what they all break at. So let me come around here. Got the trusty drill. We'll tighten this up and see how it goes. i got to come in here pretty close to be able to read this scale. I think it got to about nine pounds. That was much faster than I was expecting. So, as you would imagine, there's no real strength there. It just broke the board right in half. So let's set up for the next one. Now I've got everybody's favorite pocket screws over here. Come over here and tighten this up. 32, 34, 35, 36, 36, 36. 30, 32, 30, 28. That broke. You can see it's come apart down here. So this broke around 33 pounds. I'm a bit surprised uh, the screws actually pulled out of one side. On the other side, it kind of ripped the wood out. But when I tested this before, I did a little bit of playing around before, it actually tore out around the screws this way as opposed to the screws threads pulling out of the other piece of wood. It may be that I had these screws going into the, some of the sap wood of this cherry. That might not be as stiff as some of the, uh, the heartwood that the screws were going in on the other piece. So now we'll try some of the domino pieces. The first one I'm going to try is one where I didn't really put very much glue on the domino itself. I just kind of put a little drips on, 
usually that's what I do if I'm just trying to use the dominoes to align a board, not necessarily for uh, strength. So you can hear it, went off at about 19 pounds. The domino didn't break, it just pulled up some of the wood around it. And then it could just pull right off. So now we'll try one where I put a lot more glue on the wood, or on the domino itself, on the faces here, and that should prevent this. Eight, 13, 17, 20, and my scale shut off. I think it already broke at about 20 pounds, but let's see. Yeah, 18, yeah, it's done. So you can see even though I put glue on both sides of this one before I put it on, it's still pulled off. You can see there's some more wood attached to there. Now you might not be able to see it, but there's, there's wood attached to the domino that just tore out. So I'm a little surprised about that. This only got to up to about 20 pounds. The pocket screws got up to about 30 pounds, maybe 33 pounds. I made up another sample here of a domino with lots of glue on it. I didn't really like the amount of adhesion I got between the domino and the wood, so I was wondering if I didn't put enough glue in here, or maybe my domino slot was a little bit uh, oversized. So I know this is a terrible testing practice to retest the one you don't like, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens if I test another one that I made up last night um, that I was sure had a ton of glue on it and the, the domino was made real well. You can see there's got a lot of, a lot of glue squeeze out there, so we'll give this one a shot. 16. As this untwists, it lowers it a little bit, so 20. 20 and it's done. Oh, my scale shut off, but I think it started to crack. I redid this test because I was worried I hadn't put enough glue on because I didn't get particularly good adhesion between the uh, domino and the cherry wood. Uh, I'm using regular old Type-On glue. Should work perfectly well. In general, when I use Type-On, the wood breaks before the glue does. What well, didn't seem to be the case here. Maybe this configuration of the dominoes, maybe something between the beech wood of the domino and the cherry wood uh, that I'm using here. Either way, the domino worked out to only be about 20 pounds compared to the 30 pounds of the pocket screws. I'm pretty disappointed in the performance of the dominoes. I would have expected them to do at least as well as the pocket screws, if not better. Um, I don't know if it was the setup, the type of glue, maybe it's just not conducive to that type of joint. Anyways, next week I'm going to do a full review of the domino, so be sure to subscribe to watch that video, and thanks for watching.